Hey guys, we've had some questions come in and we're going to ask them. Brian, can you tell us what ROS is? Yes, ROS uh, is kind of confusing to some people. ROS means reactive oxygen species. So there's pretty much seven airborne ROS. The body has some more internal, but the seven airborne ROS, some are very shortly lived, some are long lived. So the short-lived are gonna be uh, things like hydroxyl radicals, singlet oxygen, atomic oxygen, perioxynitrate, and uh, I think it was uh, superoxides or the other one. There's about five really short-lived. Our website uh, talks in detail about each one and some of the different properties of it. Um, but the long-lived ones that come out and everybody's pretty familiar with are gonna be like gas phase hydrogen peroxide and ozone. So those are the ones everybody's concerned with for the most part in the environment. Um, but we generate ozone and hydrogen peroxide at extremely low levels to the point where they actually will mix together and create through a, a process called the peroxone process. They'll create what's called trioxidine. It's not an ROS, but it's an antimicrobial agent that's created using those two ROS. So for the most part, there's about seven ROS that you'll find in the air. And it means reaction, reactive oxygen species. Perfect.